Hello everyone. Today we, we are going to learn about ions and its formation. In this, what is meant by ion? Ion means it is an element with its positive or a negative sign. Element with the positive sign is called as cation and element with the negative sign is called as anion. Examples, it is an element called as sodium and it is with the positive that means plus sign is called as cation and it is one more element called as chlorine it is with negative sign and this is called as anion. How these ions are formed? Ions are formed by losing electrons from its valence shell or by gaining electrons in its valence shell. Here the type of ions. What are the type of ions? Based on the number of electrons gained or lost, ions are divided into four types. That means electrons after losing or gaining the electrons from its valence shell or in its shell, we are divided into four types. They are monovalent electropositive means mono means one. The after losing one electron from its valence shell, we are getting the positive sign and that elements are called as monovalent electropositive ions. Element on losing one electron from its valence shell, we are getting monovalent electropositive ion. That means like I said here sodium after losing one electron from its valence shell we are getting one positive sign we are calling this type of ions R as monovalent electropositive ions in the same way monovalent electro negative ions means chlorine with the negative sign that means it lost one the electron from its valence shell and it got a negative sign this type of ions are called as monovalent electro negative ions okay like that more divalent electropositive divalent electro negative ions and trivalent electropositive and trivalent electro negative ions like that tetravalent electro positive and tetravalent electro negative ions are there. Based on this, how exactly ions are formed and why ions are forming? Why elements are losing or gaining electrons? Here, let us take one example. Beryllium. Beryllium is an element with its atomic number 4. Now according to the configuration I can write K2L2. K means a first shell and L means second shell. Otherwise I can also write it as 1S2 and 2S2. In the place of L shell I give number in the place of K shell I gave 1. The first shell it belongs to the second shell. These two are electrons. Here in the bracket what are the number? That number indicates the number of electrons that are present in the shells. These shells. Okay. Now what is the nearest noble gas for its beryllium? Noble gases are helium, neon, Argon and Krypton and then Xenon. All these are called as noble gases. What is meant by noble gas? Noble gas means the elements with octet or 8 electrons in its outermost shell. That means here helium. Atomic number is 2, so I can write 1s2 or k2. That means the shell is filled with 2 electrons. It is satisfied the 2n square formula. 
like this neon configuration that means its atomic number is 10 1 s2 2 s2 2p6 if this is called as outermost shell second shell is called as outermost shell in this outermost shell how many electrons are there there are eight electrons in the second shell two plus six just you remember this indicates shell number this number indicates number of electrons present in its element neon got 10 atomic number so this is the first shell according to 2n square formula we will get only two electrons for the first shell and the second shell carries eight electrons so for this neon 2s2 2p6 with the neon second shell is filled that means eight electrons like this for argon 18 and for krypton 18 like that all elements are ending with 8 electrons in its outermost shell wherever the elements are ending with 8 electrons in its outermost shell these elements are called as noble elements or noble gases these are very stable gases that means very stable elements to reach that stability these remaining elements try to get that configuration to get that configuration all the remaining elements they lose electrons or they gain electrons here take beryllium beryllium atomic number is 4 its nearest to noble gas is helium its configuration is 1s2 but here you see 1s2 and 2s2 is the configuration of beryllium but whereas noble gas that is helium which is very stable got only 1s2 is the configuration so beryllium to get like a helium it should lose these two electrons okay to lose these two electrons beryllium here 1s2 2s 0 that means I should write here minus 2 electrons. Beryllium is trying to get helium, its nearest noble gas. That's why it is losing its outermost electrons, that is 2 electrons from its outermost shell. Outermost shell for beryllium is 2. Okay, so after losing minus 2 electrons, it is getting 1s2 like a helium helium gas configuration then how I should represent that element without two electrons beryllium is now with four electrons after losing the two electrons I will represent this element as beryllium 2 plus like this I'll represent so every element whatever the elements are there remaining all the elements they try to get their nearest noble gas configurations to get that configuration remaining elements they lose or gain electrons like this whenever they lost their electrons they'll get signs like this beryllium 2 plus means beryllium lost two electrons indicates plus indicates lost two indicates two electrons it lost from its outermost shell now if i'll write the configuration of beryllium 2 plus i'll get only 1s2 because it lost two electrons from its outermost shell this type of ion is called as di di or bi we can say bi or a di means two valent means it lost electrons from its valent shell bivalent it is positive in sign so bivalent electro positive it indicates 
it lost two electrons from its outermost shell. Formation of electronegative ion. Let us take one example that is chlorine here I am taking. Chlorine its atomic number is 17. I can also represent like this chlorine subscript I am taking as 17. Atomic number of chlorine is 17 and its nearest noble gas is argon with its atomic number 18 which is very stable element. So to get like that it should gain one more electron. So what it will do? It should gain. Gaining means it should gain one electron to its outermost shell. First of all we will write electronic configuration of chlorine. Generally I am writing like this K 2 L again 2 and then Eight, 2 and 6 now I am writing in the M shell I can write 2 and then 5 K2 L2 6 M2 and 5 all these are according to Borbury rule or we can say 2 n square formula First shell can accommodate only two electrons according to 2n square formula. Here generally I am writing in the place of k, I am writing number 1. Yes, this indicates number of electrons, 1s2. L indicates second shell. It contains again subshell S as its size is more. One more subshell P with 6 electrons. Now according to 2n square formula second shell can accommodate only 8 electrons. Now I should go to the third shell that is M number is 3 and then again with the subshell S 3s2 and then again 3p5. P can accommodate maximum 6 electrons but as its atomic number is only 17 I can write only till 5. So, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, here 8 electrons in the L shell, 8 and then M shell gives 7 electrons here, 5 plus 2 are 7. 3p5. As this atomic number is 17 and argon configuration is 18, you should get one more electron, you should gain after gaining one more electron plus I am adding one more electron to reach to argon, I will get now chlorine with negative sign. Only one electron it gained, that is why I kept only one negative sign. Chlorine with one negative sign indicates it has gained one electron to its outermost shell to become like a argon. Now, after getting one electron, it is becoming like an ion like this. This is called as anion. Which type of anion it is? Based on the number of electrons gained, I said it has divided into four types, monovalent, bivalent, divalent, uh, trivalent and tetravalent. Bi or di it is same, you can say anything and this has gained only one electron so I can call it as monovalent, monovalent electro negative ion monovalent electro negative ion after gaining one electron I should add one electron to its configuration here only I am adding one more electron instead of five I, I wrote here six that means in its outermost shell it is the outermost shell of chlorine and I am writing it as 
instead of 5 I wrote here 6 that indicates 2 plus 6 8 now you count the number of electrons 2 8 10 10 plus again 8 18 it's configuration of argon which is a stable gas are also called as noble gas like this ions are formed the main aim of elements are the main aim of elements are to get the stability and to become like a noble gases these are forming ions by gaining or losing electrons with this i'll end my topic thank you